right, my name is Sharon. As you can see, I have my work attire on. I have my shoe covers, my scrubs, my mask, my goggles, and my cap. I will now sterilely open my gown. Now that that is open, I will sterilely open my gloves. and there's a nail applicator within the package. You go and you clean underneath all of your nails. Then you clean your cuticles. Once you're done with the nail applicator, you throw that away and you begin scrubbing your fingers. You scrub each side of your finger for 15 seconds. Once you're done with that, you move to the palm of your hands for 10 seconds, then your arms, and then your elbows for 10 seconds. Once you finish with that, you rinse without touching anything. If you do touch, you're contaminating, you have to start all over. You can then walk into the OR, and as you can see, there's a green towel, and you reach for that sterilely. So I'll reach right here. You open the towel away from you, and you make sure it doesn't touch anything but your hands. So you go and you dry, as I'm doing, and then you switch up to the other side. Once you're done with that, you toss that away and then you can grab your gown. At this point, I would have my circulating nurse tie me up, but for the sake of the video, we're going to continue. And I'm going to put my first layer of gloves on. Now I'm going to go for my second layer. You always want to have two layers of gloves on just to protect yourself. The, surgical, the circulating nurse would then throw that away and you would hand this off to them and you would turn with them. But for the sake of the video, I'll just turn myself and tie myself up. Now, I'm sterile and I'm ready to work. I'm a surgical technologist. A surgical technologist is a health professional working in the OR with a surgical team providing surgical care to the patient undergoing surgery. This team is made of the surgeon, the anesthesiologist, the circulating nurse, and of course the surgical technologist. For one to become a surgical technologist, you must go through a school such as a community college. Whether it's one year, two years, you can get the certification or the associate's degree. While on the program, you take classes such as anatomy one and two, microbiology, pharmacology, medical, medical terminology. They have lab classes to teach you surgical instrumentation, equipment, and supplies. You also learn different procedures and positioning. You also do clinicals to have hands-on experience. Once you graduate the program, you have to take a certification exam. The certification exam is administered by the National Board of Surgical Technologists and First Assistants. The exam consists of 200 multiple choice questions. And once you pass the test, you have to renew your certification every four years. You do this by having 60 continuing education credits. So once you graduate and you pass your certification exam, you can then begin working. As a surgical technologist in the operating room, you can break down your roles and your responsibilities into three brackets. You have pre-operative, intra-operative, and post-operative. With your pre-operative, the first thing you're going to do in the morning is go to your room and wipe down your work area. That will consist of the operating room lights, the mayo table, the back table, and the ring stand. Once that's completed, you read to see what your procedure is for that day, and you gather all necessary items. Once you have that done, you open the sterile field, which would be on your back table, and then you open all the supplies onto your back table. Once you have everything sterilely open on your back table, you then scrub and gown. 
such as I did. With your grounding glove, you set up a sterile field. You want to make sure that everything's organized and easy to be found so that surgery can go by smoothly. Once you're set up, you're going to count all your accountable items with your nurse. That would be Raytex, lab, needles, and blades. You can also label all of your solutions that you have, such as saline or any medication that they may give you. Once you've done that, you have to also gown and glove the surgeon and their assistant if they have one. You then drape out the patient and you get ready for the timeout. At this time is when your intraoperative responsibilities will begin. Once timeout has been done with and everybody agrees, you hand them the scalpel and you make sure that you're two to three steps ahead of the surgeon at all times. You never want to be behind because you never want to be the one to slow down the surgeon. You make sure that their suction is working, they have their bovi, their bipolar, and any other necessary items so they can do this procedure. You may have to help retract and pass instruments at the same time. If they give you a specimen, you have to label the specimen, you take care of the specimen, and you hand it off at an appropriate time. Once the procedure is over with, you then hand them the first suture so they can begin closing. At this time, you have to count all your calma items again to make sure that nothing was left behind or has been lost. Once the surgeon is ready for the skin suture, you have to count again to make sure that nothing's been left behind or has been lost. Once the dressing has been applied, you have to pull your back table and your mayo stand to the back and keep it sterile. You never break down your sterile field until the patient is awake. Once the patient is fully awake and off of the operating room table and out of the room, you can then break down your sterile field. This is when you have your post-operative responsibilities. You clean up your area, you break down your field, you send the instruments downstairs to get washed and clean for the next procedure. You also clean the room and you restock and you then get ready for the next procedure. With that being said, that concludes the responsibilities that you have as a surgical technologist. Now, as a surgical technologist, you can advance. You can become a first assistant, and that's more one-on-one -on -one time with the surgeon and the patient during the procedure. You can specialize in a field and become part of a team, such as the liver team. You, be you can become a rep for a company. You can also manage sterile supplies in a hospital. Either way you look at it, the first goal for a surgical technologist is the patient and their safety. So I want, with that said, I want to let you know that if you're ever on the operating room table, know that we're there for you and you'll be okay. Thank you.